My name is David Walsh. I'm the CEO and chairman of GenBan. Well, what we learned is that um, customers want a very simple way to consume our technology. So we had built a number of applications that were available, real-time communications applications that were available on the platform. And we found is that if we could make it even easier to be able to pick up these little apps and use them, embed them in the, into the things that they're doing and allow it to be very simple to do, that was, that's really been the focus of what we've been doing over the last year. So as an example, somebody wants just a click to call or a concierge button, or they want a live agent capability to be able to just go into the platform, log in, and be able to consume it, put it into their app, and begin to use it. That's what we've been really focused on. What Candy is, is a real-time communications platform as a service. What we did at GenBan over the last 10 years, we, for, for years, GenBan has been the market leader in real-time communications. So that's voice, that's video, that's things like text, presence, collaboration, it's all of those things that make applications work well. Um, so what we do is we focus solely on this real-time communication space. And what the Candy platform is, it's an infrastructure that allows you to be able to access that capability and put that into your applications. You know, it's a little bit like, you know, Moore's Law in N Square. The value of the network is a function of how many people you have on it. So, uh, two things are important, I think, in this communication space and around real-time communication. One is having a large enough user group so that you're, you have a meaningful presence in the marketplace. And the other one is having content or applications that people really want or need. And so you got to kind of focus on both, both those equations. And obviously the more customers you get on, the more users, the more applications that they drag onto the infrastructure. So the Candy platform is growing every day because we publish the APIs and SDKs and people can develop you know, as they see fit and as they develop, then that stuff makes its way out into the market. Everybody here has mobile applications that have real-time communications as the core ingredient to what they do. So, I mean, this is pervasive now. I mean, embedded real-time communications is probably, just, probably, if not the most exciting part of the industry, but certainly on the top of the list. You can't do everything well. You gotta, you gotta point yourself in the area that you, you know, where, where is fertile ground for me and what can I do well? So I think when carriers ask that question, they find there's a couple things that they probably should focus their energy on and they should also then partner with others that bring things to the table. And I think that's where we fit in. I mean, we, we're really good at real-time communications. That's our whole focus. And we can enable uh, every carry to get into that marketplace through our infrastructure and technology. So I, it just doesn't make sense, you know, with time to market and, and, and priorities to go out and try to attempt to build something like Candy themselves when they can tap into it and get all the, get all the business benefit without ownership. What we've seen over the last couple of years is a lot of the over-the-tops have gotten into the market, have done extremely well, and, and to some degree at the expense of the carriers. And now they have this huge installed base of customers all around the world. So the carriers, we looked at it and said, it's not the technology over the top and the features and functions. We have all that. It's this community that they're lacking. Now, it, not one carrier on their own can match the, the size of the communities that these over-the-tops have but if they federate themselves together, they can. So the Fring Alliance was, we were out working with each carrier, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, here's an OTT platform, you can get into the OTT business, you can protect your, your, your business. And then what we found is on their own, each of these carriers are gonna have a hard time to establish a community the size that the WhatsApp and the Skypes have been able to accomplish. But together, by connecting or federating them, we could accomplish that, that goal of having a very, very large user base. So the Fring Alliance hasn't been formally launched yet. Um, we've been in discussions with our partners over the last year. We're gonna launch this year. Um, but a couple of things that they're looking at, obviously real-time communications, rich communications, all that cap capability is table stakes. That's not what's really interesting. That's just like, we gotta have that. Um, but where they're really focused now on is they want to be able to offer payments 
You know, people who make international calls often want to wire money to those same people. So they want payments. They want advertising. They want to be able to participate in that advertising ecosystem that's out there. So in-app app, uh, advertising, when you're making a call or receiving a call or an SMS. So that's another area. Uh, federation, obviously. They want to be able to link their user communities together and act, have them act like it's seamless, like it's one network experience. And um, so those, and also what we're finding is they want to have, want to be able to offer an enhanced content experience beyond like basic picture sharing. So, so it's really this customized content they want to be able to, they think they can monetize, they think they can monetize payments. This federation is really important. So these are the areas that they're focused on. We see that um, as each carrier jumps on board on the Candy platform, they're all driving unique and different applications and use cases. So this is, has this opportunity to really go viral. It's very easy to consume this stuff. You know, you, you, you can log on to Candy and you can start using Candy in a matter of minutes. Uh, you can scale infinitely. Like we can put up millions of users very quickly. So we just see that, you know, as the carriers start to come in and start using the APIs and SDKs, they got a development environment and really the sky's the limit.